new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you question but i tell you if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or trump then you ain't black white house on monday promoted what the Biden administration sees as the benefits for the Latino families of a $1.7 trillion safety net and climate exchange package that Democrats passed last week. In a White House organized call with reporters, Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Becerra and Representative Paul Ruiz, who is a Democrat in California and the chair of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, called the legislation historic and stated that it was a tremendous investment in American families as they struggle to recover from the pandemic. Her stated that the funding in the Build Back Better Act would help families pay for child care and preschool education funding, provide child tax credits, and help families pay for Obamacare health insurance plans. It will cut the cost of three of the most expensive items in families' budgets, health care, housing, and child care. Ruiz and Becerra stated that child care provisions which would cap child care costs for six years at 7% for families earning up to 250% of the state's median income would help Latinas who had to bear the brunt of the cuts in wages and unemployment because of the pandemic. Extending the child tax credit would be like money in your pocket, Ruiz stated. Also in the bill is money to pay for universal pre-K, which is for three and four-year-old children for two years. The money is stated to be enough to pay for free preschool for more than 6 million children. Becerra stated that the bill offers older Americans the kind of help that his late father, a laborer, and his mother, who did clerical work, never had. Quote, I'm from a migrant family, and I understand the importance of being able to say anyone who has to work very hard, helping to lift this country, helping to build it, now this country is going to invest in you. The housing bill will provide the money for pre-K for all children, regardless of families, income, and states eventually having to add money to cover some of the cost. Before the pandemic, about 27% of children in public schools were Hispanic. In 2019 through 2020, only about 4 out of 10, which is 43%, of the 3 to 5-year-olds were enrolled in school. The pre-K provisions would help not only groups that haven't had access to quality pre-K, but also middle-class and upper-class income families that often don't qualify for subsidy preschool programs. Castro, the only major Latino presidential candidate last year, stated that universal pre-K part of the bill would be a godsend for many families and a blockbuster investment to celebrate. Early education varies among states, six of which had no state pre-fund pre-K program in 2019 to 2020 of the school year. Earlier data shows that school year that 3% drop in all public school enrollment. The drop was higher among children in preschool and kindergarten than in later grades. Build Back Better Success depends on states doing their part. As a mayor, Castro got San Antonio voters to support a half-cent sales tax in 2012 to create quality preschools for low-income children. That program is considered highly successful. Build Back Better provisions would allow school districts or nonprofit organizations to help with cost for their areas, even if their state doesn't participate. Quote, I'm hopeful that even conservative states like Texas and other places that don't have universal pre-K will meet the challenge. But if they don't, then I encourage local communities to go ahead and universalize pre-K. All I got to say is congratulations to the lag community. Um, y'all doing it out here. Y'all came together. You pulled together as a group. You pulled money together as a community. And you gave that money to the political officials or representatives that you felt uh, had your best interest at heart. And they were going to put 
you know, their foot to the ground. And they were going to make sure to represent you as they should. So congratulations to you for doing the job that you did for your community. You got what you got. You got a one point seven trillion dollar bill that is passed well that or that will be passed that is going to help out the latin community and to black people what more can i say nothing because obviously y'all ain't getting nothing so to a lot of the ones who decided that they wanted to uh vote for biden and you know all these other things i want to know what's happening here because i've been able to see every other group out here receive a bill receive funding receive money get laws passed and rules and regulations whatever you want to put it right and it's for the better the black community i don't see nothing happening i don't see nothing happening and yet again i'm going to state like i told people before i took quite a bit of flack from people when i basically stated that hey I'm not going to sit up here and vote. I have no dog in this race. There's no reason for me to, you know, pitch a vote. You got the electoral colleges to basically do that for me. If I, you know, like I said, no matter if I voted or not, guess what the end result is? Black people wanted Biden directly in office. And this is exactly what you got. And this is exactly what you get. You see this, right? You see how everything basically works out. You could have technically went for a whole another candidate that, wasn't either Trump or that wasn't even Biden. You could have went for clearly somebody else different, but that's not what you wanted to do. Here we are. Here we are. So I want to see all of those black people that were crying, that were cheering, that were hunking their horns, that were oh so happy about this. I would love to sit up there and see you at this moment in time. Because I, I want to know where's the money at, where the check at. What's happening for everybody else? What's really going on? Obviously nothing, like I said. Obviously nothing. Like I said, black people are just happy with getting a little bit of something. While everybody else is actually out here getting money. They're getting money. They are getting money. They're getting, you know, stuff pushed for their communities for the better to uplift them, to get people moving, to get people working again, to allow them certain things. Black people, we're, we're, we're not there. We're not there. And we probably won't ever be there because we keep making the wrong choices every single time. Back to back to back to back to back. And here we are. Like I said, the only way I would, in a sense, get this proven about this just a little bit is if, I don't know, maybe if black people try to, instead of attacking Ice Cube, they will actually, you know, make a petition or whatever it is to get Ice Cube and the plan that he had for the black community to get that in front of Biden. And then let's see if, you know, some wheels can get moving. But will black people actually do that? Probably not. Won't they do that? Well, that's because black people were the main ones tearing down Ice Cube, right? He sat up there and told the black community, he was like, yo, I tried to go to both parties, right? So what I tried to do is I tried to go to the Democrats first. They told me, uh, you know, it's great. It's awesome, whatnot, or whatever. But we'll see. We'll, we'll talk to you after the election, right? Because they're saying that's more important, right? So Ice Cube was like, all right, bump it, whatever. So I'm going to sit up there and go to the Trump administration at the time. And he was in talks and he was sitting up there, you know, trying to politic with them and see what 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 can potentially happen for the black community. What did the black community do? They were like, oh, no, you a sellout. You this, you that. But yet anybody attacking Ice Cube, they never had a plan. They never wrote anything up. They never even had a thought. Like I said before, you got a whole bunch of mindless imbeciles who want to sit up there and just like follow and bandwagon just because it's cool. So now because it's cool to sit up there and tag team and to group up on one of your own that's trying to help you, here you are with nothing. Every other group has received something that you didn't. The LGBTQ, they have laws, they have rules, they have bills, they have funding. They might even have streets named after them. What, what do black people really got? nothing the jewish community they got a lot of stuff what do black community got nothing 
the Asian community. They just recently, I think, got about like $50 million or, or, or what have you. I forgot what it was, the, the actual number, $50 million or, or what have you. What did the black community get? Nothing. And now, at this moment in time, you got the Latin community. They're about to sit up there and get $1.7 trillion dedicated to them to help their infrastructure, to help out their families, right, which is going to benefit their communities. Where is the black community? Nowhere. Good job. Good job. Like I said, everybody else is winning out here but black people. And at the end of the day, black people are their own worst enemy. You can't sit up there and point it at nobody else. It's black people. Because like I said, instead of us uplifting and pushing and investing in Ice Cube and what it was that he was doing, we decided to sit up there and push against him. We got rid of him before anybody else could sit up there and do it. Look at that. Look how that job was done. I wonder who trained him. Wonder who trained those black people there. Huh. Let me take my time and think. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about this video and everything that I stated in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.